Hello guys, my name is Fox, and welcome to part 3 of our Cross Dragon X2 Horse Lord series. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we've managed to make Yugra into our tributary, which I'm kinda happy about, even though it would probably be, be, uh, would be better for me to just directly control his lands, but still. I had like only Conquest CB on him, so uh, making him a tributary probably gonna be a little bit better. And he's probably also would be able to provide me with troops. I think that's how tributary works as well. Like technically considered as your ally or at least as a, <laughs> at least as someone who could provide you with troops. And yeah. Declare to war minus twenty five, infidel minus thirty, and I couldn't really improve relations with you, so I saw a Tobal in here. Who could we probably do something with? Like, at least try to pillage. So that's why I already have this army in here. Possible 9.6 uh, gold. Not too much, but still better than nothing. Could even probably, like, make you into our tributary as well. Do you have any money? You have money in your coffers, but your uh, monthly income is not really that high. Also, truces are expiring with Yugra. Oh, that's actually really quick. Uh, how's our clans? Clans looking fine. Clan land demand. If the Kagan holds too much land compared to other clans, they'll affect their clan sentiments and they might even risk for a minor clan rising. Interesting. Total population and number of clans. Okay. Uh, these guys should try to pillage Turtum because they have some money. And Tobol, we have 500 troops, probably should try to do something with this. Maybe even the conquest of this place. Our population is growing. Maximum population, monthly population growth. Monthly population growth percentage is 1% of what? Of potential population? Uh, I don't know. I don't understand really. Oh yeah, it's 1% of this 8,000, okay. And old wound is blah 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 and painful. I'm ill and wounded. Uh, please don't die. Because we're losing titles in succession. I hope it's not gonna be a game over for us if we're gonna die. Because I don't want to end this series quite yet. We have a hunting focus which given us plus one health, but still... Actually, Hunt and Dog also given us plus health, so... Please... Survive. Also, we could change our Spy Master. Which we probably would do. And you're gonna be trying to skim in the capital, just in case... Someone would be... Stupid enough to... Uh, to try to plot against us. Also, these pillagers already finished. So let's get them back to our lands. Nice, we're not ill anymore. I hope the wound also not gonna kill us. Turtum already gave me all their money. Uh, let's go further. Let's not aggro this guy. Because it could be dangerous. Mm, so. What are you doing? You're hostile to Otakin. Now oh, these guys are just looting, looting each other. And if I were to declare war on you, you're still considered as an ally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when your character gonna die, the tributary... Pro oh, he's my father-in-law. Interesting. Okay. Oh, father-in-law, it means that... Uh, that what? Oh, his children, his daughter is my wife. Okay. Yeah, he, when he's gonna die, the tributary gonna finish, and I'm probably gonna be able to just uh, declare a conquest on him, on him again. Also, we have some ducats, so why won't we go and spend some on our capital? Light cavalry, defense, heavy cavalry, horse archers. What do we have in here right now? We have mostly light cavalry. So, let's try to get some buff on light cavalry if possible. Clan... Sentiment plus two. 
Fort level, garrison size, force archers. I guess this thing is gonna be nice. Horse breeder. And could we get some more armies? Get some more skirmish cavalry. Should be. Yeah, why not? And you're gonna all gather here and we'll see if if you would be doing something with Stovall. And we probably should. Or maybe I like Carl Kid before they gonna declare an offense for on us. How much troops do you have? A thousand. It's less than I have right now, but still. It's probably not gonna prevent you from declaring a, a, a war on me for too much time. Also, we could do something with this tribal dudes. Actually, I could just burn down Urabo and uh, declare an immediate conquest on them. Um, that could be a nice idea. We'll see. But first of all, Tobo. You have 500 troops. And my wound is gone. Great. I'm not dead, at least. And my firstborn son is already 13, so hopefully he's gonna be... Actually, let's read this thing. Under normal succession, the son or brother with the most prestige normally inherits, but prestigious clan leaders also stand a chance if their population is bigger than the Kagans. Run culture characters are disqualified and adults have precedence over children. If the Kagan primary heir is still a child, the Kaganet is lost to one of the clan chiefs. Clan chiefs with more prestige than the heir get claims on the Kaganet, only males can inherit. So, a lot of stuff here, but I think we need to know is that if our uh, son is under 16, we are probably gonna lose the inheritance, which is not great. But he's already 13, so hopefully we're gonna be uh, healthy enough to live uh, like a couple more years. Also, you're defending against someone's conquest of Tura. Oh. I wanted to conquer Tura. Yakbuits, what are you doing? You're becoming too powerful. And I don't like it. Okay, I guess we're not conquering Tobol. I guess it's gonna be someone else, like Urabo. Actually, also one of the things we could do is probably not conquer uh, feudal guys, but uh, try to make them a tributaries, because uh, feudal guys should have a lot more income than the others, so uh, making tributaries out of them probably gonna be a lot more profitable. Also, we just improved relations with these guys, actually, we have pretty much... Oh, one tributary war plus 20. Nice, that's also given, also given some uh, opinion, which is great and useful. So, Uraba, what are we gonna do with you? I don't know for now, but first of all, we're gonna burn your holdings to the ground. And then we're gonna decide what we're gonna do with you. Conquer or maybe something else. The Iconoclast plays Triumphant Fate. Great. Where is that? Oh, interesting. The Byzantine Empire is Iconoclast. Cool. What it's given to you? I don't know. A lot of interesting stuff. Horse breeders can be built in uh, our capital. Great. And also, one of the things I think happening is... First of all, we could uh, change our capital if we want. And all of our improvements uh, are being moved with the capital. So, if we want, we could do this. I actually don't know why would you want to move your capital for... But it is a possibility, and maybe we could, maybe we would think about doing this someone in the future. Um, monthly population growth is plus seventy. Oh yeah, with each month it's like dropping because because of something. Because of the maximum, I guess. The more you have, the less is uh, growth, probably. But yeah, right now we want to burn down the Uraba. To be able to conquer them if needed. Also, these guys defending against Yagbuits. Oh, yeah, you'd better fight with each other because it's gonna be profitable for me. 
Yak Blitz, 1700, Bozo Clan, 1700, god damn it. These guys are becoming too powerful. And I should do something with it. Maybe like try to subjugate Carlo Kids to get some lands from them and maybe to secure some more power for me. If it's possible. Because if uh, they're gonna start bo bordering me, or when they're gonna start bordering me, uh, it would be really dangerous. Okay, improved relations one more time, so you could be moved to another clan. And also, I think now we could try to declare a blood oath. Yes, blood oath is... Certain blood oath will make the other clan a staunch ally for as long as both rulers live. However, you can only have one other clan as your blood brothers. Actually, which one is gonna be bigger? This one have five, and you have three. Oh, actually, declaring you as my blood, blood oath is probably... Actually, you are the one who have more uh, opinion with me, so... Uh, yes, please. Let's uh, declare a blood oath. And we're just gonna keep continue or continue improving relations with the other one. So, this Holland is about to get burned down, which is great. Not only gonna help me in the future war, but it's gonna give me tons of money. And the city gonna give me even more. So, this guy managed to take this Holland, but he's currently at war with the uh, Yagbuits. And who's winning? Uh, war score. It's 7 in favor of Yagbuit, so this guy actually losing. Oi, oh, 3,000 troops. That's awful. But if you're gonna crash the army of Karlukids, I probably gonna have a chance to declare a war on them. Yeah, they have 50 troops right now. Uh huh. We probably should do something with that. Like make you a tributary. That could be a decent idea. Let's try it. We burn down this place. So let's take this opportunity while we have it. Uh, yeah. Someone already declared a war on you. This is one of my clan people, but... So, what kind of, actually, CBs do we have? Invasion is not working, subordination is... Uh... Okay, so, if you have enough prestige, we could subdue large foreign areas. But we would need to spend prestige for this. Uh, or I could make you into a tributary. Hmm, I don't know. Conquest of this place, conquest of this place. Actually, subduing you for four holdings probably not gonna be a terrible idea. And what are you declaring for? Conquest of Jetsu. Jetsu. So, 300 prestige for like four holdings. That might be a decent idea. So. When we declare a war, we lose 300 prestige. If we win the war, he lose 300 prestige and we take or vassalize all the lands, which means four of these holdings. Mm. And invasion is not working because of the population. Okay, let's try to do this. You're gonna immediately join in this battle, which is not really that great because it's counted uh, as a war score to my uh, to my vassal, which I'm not entirely interested in. Oh, now with the leader of this siege for some reason, even though uh, we're not started it, but I'm fine with that. Concozil has usurped this title. Okay. Now when we have three titles. Or now only two titles. What the hell? Why this one is not 
who's a part of the war anymore. I've spent 300 prestige, you bastard. Come on. One of the armies sit here, and the other go and siege. But at least it is a part of our realm. Oh! Yugra, are you still my tribute? You are, okay. I almost got scared. Oh, why is your capital so weak? I don't know. Well, let's go and destroy some more of your armies to get some war score. You're not getting chicken war score for some reason. Oh well. Probably could win even without it. Yeah, the sieges. No, the sieges are not really that hard to succeed in. Mm. Could you please stop improving relations? It's just becoming ridiculous. And you're probably improving with the wrong guy. Mm. No, you're still improving in here, but why is it only 57? It's not a counselor, need more grazing land. No, you don't. Okay, 75% and we're starting to get chicken war score, okay. So I've spent 300 prestige for two provinces, that's not entirely great, I should say. Why is this play, uh, okay, now it is a part of the war, and no, something strange is happening, but we have 100% war score, and all of a sudden, It's just changing between freaking uh, between the clans, looks like. Okay, let's just enforce the mines, but we probably... No, we actually got all of this. Okay, screw this, I don't know, I don't understand. Okay, our son is 16 and he's... Oh, Mastermind Theologian, I actually should have probably... Should have probably trained him myself. Also, we have clan want more lands. You hold too much land compared to other clans. Hand out two counties or you might face revolts from existing clans. You can also face a minor clan rising. Okay, I could spare some lands if you want. I could give this thing to... To this guy. How could I do this? Uh, it is called Ket. So let me see. Grand Landed Title, County of Ket. And... This? Actually, this guy have too few titles. Actually, could give you this. And maybe, like, try to move my capital somewhere around here. It's probably not gonna be a terrible idea. Let's do this. Uh, press left click to select next region. Oh, interesting. I don't know what the heck is that. Steps, eastern steps. So, yeah, I could land, uh, give you... Actually, we have three holdings in here. I'm gonna give one away. And we're gonna have how much? One, two, three in there. And a couple in there. Is it really matters? Or is it matters at all? Where is my capital? No. But it is mountains, so it's gonna be easier to defend it. Okay. Yeah, let's move our capital to here. And you're gonna receive... What? You're gonna receive this place. Carbon something. Grand landed title. Carbon blah blah blah. And all of my people need to be moved to the new capital. My steward is awful. And my armies need to get together. Okay. So. We expanded quite a lot. And I like it. Oh. All of a sudden our cap population is 29 instead of 16, I guess. And monthly growth is plus 190. Awesome. I like it a lot. 
We could absorb some dashi, but I don't think I want to do this. And we have an unmarried heir. Do we have anyone good enough to marry? Like maybe someone who is 16 or 17? I don't want to lose prestige though. Uh, oh, she gonna receive prestige, but I'm not going to. Okay. Dragon effort. Warhorse has taken his last gallop across the step and begun the eternal sleep. We lost our horse. That's sad. Okay, so it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys. So I guess we're gonna get ourselves a new horse in the next episode. And we're gonna continue expansion as well in the next episode. Probably actually touching Uraba because... They're still burned down and we should do something with that. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.